arrived looking at some distant scenery here it's about three kilometers across the water uh, with the SV Bonnie it's the SV 503 so it's the four inch ED refractor uh, it's a doubly um, so that's just looking by eye and then I'll show you through the finder I've added a 50 mil finder scope it's a really lovely view through that finder scope it really does match my Explore Scientific finder scope I had for uh, Claret. Look how sharp that is. That's just me with the phone that's making it a bit wobbly. Let's see if I can get right on there. Yeah, look at that. There's actually a distant mountain peak that's just getting blurred out by the phone here. It's uh, not, not uh, exposing it correctly. But you can see how, what a nice wide and sharp view that is. I'll come back to the normal eye view. And then we'll go into the main scope here. I've got a zoom eyepiece, an 8 to 24, and it's set on 24, so it's actually the widest the widest it can be. And there's actually a just a snow-capped mountain peak right there. That's the view through the main scope. Let's back off a little bit here. Oh, now we're offset for the eyepiece, aren't we? Let's try that. Uh, the phone doesn't work too well doing this. Let's go back to the main. It switches uh, lenses when I do that. There we go, looks like that. All right, we'll come back off again. And again, there's the normal view there. All right, so uh, the power there, when I was looking through the main scope, let's see, it's 24, uh, focal length is 714. What's that gonna be? Oh, it's like around 22, I think, is the, so pretty low power. I mean, if you're looking at planets, you'd be up around 150, 250. So uh, I've used the scope at 225, razor sharp on Jupiter and the Moon at 225, so it's well capable of going a little bit beyond the theoretical maximum of 200 for a 4-inch. All right, that's it for now.